Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another vlog. I have arrived safe and sound in my beautiful and most favorite city in the world, Melbourne, where all of my gorgeous friends are. And you can see behind me, this was not a strategically planned shot at all. Very spontaneous. I am suitably caffeinated and I'm about to head out and do the myriad of things that I have to do in order to be ready to make the most of the three months that I'm here. So I have gigs to promote, I have posters to print, I have people to meet for meetings. But first I have to go and get a SIM card because at the moment I can't contact anyone and they can't contact me, which isn't really ideal. It has been somewhat of a stressful couple of days. Tomorrow I officially apply for my UK visa, have my appointment, and I've been working so hard here in Australia to have the money that I need to do my application. And this morning my paycheck didn't come through as I was expecting. I was actually expecting it on Friday, so I was like freaking out. But it came through eventually, and I'm here at the World Trade Centers, which is where my bank branch is. I'm about to get the sign off that says I have enough money to go to the UK, and then tomorrow I have my appointment. And fingers crossed, within three weeks I'll have my UK ancestry visa, and I can go to the UK for five years. But <sighs> checking things off the list makes me feel good, but until it's in my hands, I'm still gonna feel stressed out. <laughs> So I'm about to meet Corinne here at Venus 2 on Fitzroy Street, Brunswick Street in Fitzroy, <laughs> not Fitzroy Street in Brunswick, Brunswick Street in Fitzroy. And we're going to have dinner, it's an all vegan Asian eatery and the food is really good. You can see the cakes and stuff in the background here, I did show you briefly in another video, so we're back. We just got indulgent after our very extravagant dinner, which I didn't film, but you guys saw stuff last time, so it's fine. But Corinne is about to try this beautiful vegan tiramisu, which looks fabulous. Yes, do it. Is it good? Gotta get into this. It's so good. Oh yeah. I am off to my visa appointment. Today is the day that I have to put in my biometrics and my fingerprints. Well, photo and fingerprints is your biometrics. And I need to put in all my documents that show that my grandmother was British. This part really is just paperwork submission. I don't actually have an interview. They just decide whether I can come or not from the UK and then send my passport back. So fingers crossed everything goes well. <laughs> it is so relieving and quite satisfying to know that I've made it to the day that is the whole reason I came here. <laughs> Just to be here to save all that time and to get a visa so I can be in the same country as Val and be in a country where I can speak the language and get a good job and just get on with my life. I've always wanted to live overseas, but I don't just want to be in a country for the sake of it. I want to like be able to su succeed and flourish in that country. And as much as I loved France, I wasn't able to do that there. So I have to walk backwards because the lighting is terrible. Look at this, how pretty is that? It's like a wall of lavender. So, yeah, being in a country where I can speak the language and there's opportunities in terms of performance. Not that there wasn't in France, but when you can't speak the language, it's really hard to kind of network and promote yourself when you have no idea how to communicate what you have to offer. <laughs> and also when you don't know if you can stay somewhere, like I couldn't stay in France without lots of money. So fingers crossed for me guys that it goes through and then I won't have to worry about moving around for a while or if I move, it can be literally for travel and fun. It doesn't have to be relocating all the time which I'm kind of tired of I've got to be honest. <laughs> Here is where I'm staying it's like so gorgeous all these autumnal leaves everywhere and the trees are so glorious. It is so sunny and beautiful I kind of feel like I've been blessed with the weather today this must be a good sign that's how I'm gonna take it. Okay it is officially too sunny to not have sunglasses on. So I haven't really talked much about my experiences here in Melbourne. Most of what I've put up for you guys has been 
footage of places that I've been and things that I've been doing, but it's tough. Like being apart from Val is tough. Long distance is tough. And I don't mean in the sense that it's tough because you lose feelings or anything like that. Quite the opposite, to be honest. It makes me want to be with him even more being apart. But it's hard because you really, really miss the person. And no amount of texting or Skyping really satisfies the desire to actually be around the person and have their company and then your talks end up being like we talk once a week because Val works and the time difference is so massive it's eight hours difference so it kind of ends up just being a catch up on our lives and not really like spending time together you know which you can't really do over the phone anywhere Skype we had a bit of like a Skype hangout <laughs> the other day which was really lovely but this is the second time we've been apart because we met and dated for two months in Australia and then had six months apart and then um, 10 months together. This is three months apart. Actually, it's uh, 13 weeks, so it's just over three months. I'd be really interested to hear what you guys think. So I ended up with the hot chocolate with almond milk. She came recommended by the barista, potentially the owner, I'm not sure. But here goes. I am way too early and now I have to wait. I'm just gonna do wonders for my nerves, of course. There's a really cool looking bar across the road, I'm intrigued. It's actually really delicious and with the almond milk, he's totally right, it tastes really good. I got really interrupted before when I was talking about long distance relationships. But I was gonna say I would be interested to hear what the experiences that you guys have had and if any of you had long distance relationships and whether or not they worked for you, did you survive the process, let me know. Well, that was ridiculously stressful. They've told me that the average time for the visa to go through is 15 working days, which is exactly the day that I leave the country to go back to France. So that's a little worrying and they can't guarantee whether it will take less time or more time or whether it will happen in that time. On the website it said you should get your answer within three weeks. They're telling me the average time is three weeks. And it's all about money, so I got in there and they asked me if I wanted to do the priority service for $315, which I don't have $315 because I've just paid $2,500 for a visa and I have to have a certain amount of money in my account. Then they asked me if I wanted to have like a $3 SMS and I was like, are you emailing me? And they said yes. And then after I said no and there was no opportunity to change my mind, they told me, but they don't actually let me know until after, like three days after the passport arrives. So... <laughs> Yeah, I guess I just have to hope to God that it all works out and that they do it really quickly. Otherwise, I could be totally screwed. I have to say, I thought the French version was hard, but the UK visa process is like impossible and they really don't communicate with you or help you with anything. Basically, if you don't pay the priority, they can't guarantee anything. Like, okay, thanks. that lunch from a little place called Union Cafe down the Causeway in Melbourne CBD. It's between Little Collins and Burke Street Mall and it's a tiny like hole in the wall place that does vegan jaffles. They do gluten free and they do a whole lot of really gorgeous lattes like normal lattes, matcha lattes and turmeric lattes. And the girl that works there is gorgeous. She good for a bit of a chin wag. And I got myself a jackfruit jaffle, which I'll show you in a minute, and a matcha latte with a combination of rice and soy milk on her recommendation. You guys, oh my god, that is so good. The gluten-free bread is amazing. Jackfruit and cheese inside. 